Hi, everyone. Hope you're doing well. I um, want to first, I'm going to uh, read to you this part of the interview. Then I'm going to actually show you the interview, but they're doing the interview in separate portions, right? So I'm going to read to you what it says it got said during this um, interview first, and then I'll show you at least two parts. The third part is supposed to come in about 20 minutes from right now. By the time I upload this, it'll probably be coming out right then. But um, missing uh, mother of missing child, the only suspect in the case, discusses harassment and the search for her son. Chatham County, Georgia. It's been almost three weeks since 20-month-old Quinton Simon was reported missing from his Chatham County home. Police say Quinton's mother, Leilani Simon, is the only suspect in his disappearance and death, though no charges have been filed. Police and FBI agents are actively searching a Chatham County landfill for Quinton's remains. There has been a huge amount of national attention on this case, with people from all over the place emotionally invested in finding Quinton. That attention has even driven people to what they call, quote, protesting outside the Simon's home at all hours of the day. In some instances, these demonstrations have become disruptive with four people being arrested over the weekend for blocking the Simon's driveway and banging on their windows and doors. Leilani and her mother, Billy Howell, said that some people have gone so far as to leave signs that say things like, quote, baby killer on Quinton's memorial, which they say disrespects his memory. Quote, it makes it hard to even process what's going around us. We get to the point where we have to barricade our own home in order to even feel safe in our backyard because we can't even process what is happening <clears throat> everywhere else or even have the time to do so. I can't even walk out and appreciate my own son's memorial or put down gifts that I got for him. I can't even go out there and do that without harassment and negligence and everything. It's just devastating to see this, that this is how the outside world reacts, Leilani Simon said. Milani said, that they've put up security cameras around the home as well as floodlights and that they've had to move Quinton's memorial away from the street to keep unwanted attention away from it. Even with the attention since Quinton went missing, Leilani said she wants everyone to know that she's not running away. Quote, I'm here. I've been here every day since this. I'm not running and I'm not hiding. And if something does come up that I am at fault, <clears throat> I will take myself to the police station, Leilani Simon said. Chatham County Police have repeatedly said that though they've named Leilani the prime suspect in her son's disappearance and death, and they don't believe she's a flight risk. Leilani says that she and her mother, Billy Howell, spent their days in the backyard of their home because it's too difficult to be inside with reminders of Quentin and the fact that he's gone. Quote, every day that goes by, it's less tears and more anger not knowing what's happening, if that's even understandable. You wake up every day angry, hoping that you'll get a phone call, and that phone call just doesn't come, Leilani said. CCPD and the FBI haven't released many details in the case and haven't said why they believe Quinton is in landfill. Police say they're doing that to preserve any potential court cases down the line. Leilani and Billy said that they get their new information about the case from watching the news and that they, they and that they feel all they can do now is hope. Quote, we want something great to come out of this, but honestly, we want him not to be found in that landfill. We want him to be found, Billy Howell said. Happy and alive. We want him back in our arms, holding us. That's what we want. We're just hoping that he's in somebody's house and they're feeding him and maybe they wanted a baby or couldn't have a baby. Maybe they thought they were his savior. That's our best hope at this point, Leilani said. The Chatham County Police Department said they have no reason to believe that Quinton was abducted or kidnapped, and their evidence suggests he was placed in a dumpster and that his remains are in the landfill they're currently searching. Leilani has not been charged with anything at this time, and there are no other suspects in the case. And so I will say I know that the third segment that's not out yet talks about um, Leilani saying, uh, quote, 
I'm here. I've been here every day since this. I'm not running and I'm not hiding. And if something does come up that I am at fault, I will take myself to that police station. Right. I know that that part is definitely going to be coming up on the third, probably likely this whole back end here um, about the less tears, more anger. Waking up angry, hoping that they'll get a phone call and it doesn't come. And that they want something great to come out of this, like a, it was some strange statements by both of them, really. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, the videos, the two that are out so far. I'm also have a TikTok um, from the babysitter that I will put you on as well. She put that out um, a couple hours ago. So I'll play that. She says she's going live um, at some point today. I am keeping an eye. If I see it, I will, um, I'll either uh, record it or I'll go live for you guys. But thus far, she hasn't done any, any live. So I will let you know, but I'll push play on this one for you. You wake up every day angry, hoping that you're gonna get a phone call and that phone call just doesn't come. Well, it has been almost three weeks since anyone has reportedly seen Quentin Simon. Right now, a search continues for the little boy's body at a Chatham County landfill after police say they believe Quentin was thrown in a dumpster. They've also named his mother as the only suspect in his death. In a WTOC exclusive, we are hearing from her for the very first time. Thanks for joining us for the News at Five. I'm Dawn Baker. This 20-month-old 20 20 little boy's face has captured the hearts of many across our country and, of course, right here at home. As we wait for any update for law enforcement officers, as the investigation continues, Leilani Simon, Quentin's mother, the only suspect in a disappearance, says all this has been hard to process. Our Shay Schrader is live outside of Simon's home. Shay, what did Leilani tell you? I talked with Leilani Simon about a number of things, including what she says happened the morning she reported Quentin missing and what life has been like since. As you know, this case has drawn a huge amount of national attention with people all over the place emotionally invested in finding Quentin. That attention has driven some people to do what they call protesting outside the Simon home all hours of the day. In several instances, these demonstrations have become disruptive, with four people being arrested over the weekend for blocking the Simons' driveway and banging on their windows and doors. When I spoke with Leilani and her mother, Billy Howell, they told me that some people have gone so far as to leave signs that say things like baby killer on Quentin's memorial, which they say disrespects his memory. It makes it hard to even process what's going on around us if we get to the point that we have to barricade our own home in order to feel safe in our backyard. <laughs> we can't even process what's happening everywhere else or even have the time to do so. I can't even walk out and appreciate my own son's memorial or put down the gifts that I got for him. I can't even go out there and do that without harassment and negligence and just everything. It's just it's devastating to see that this is how the outside world reacts. Leilani tells me that they've put up security cameras around the home as well as floodlights and that they've had to move Quentin's memorial away from the street to keep unwanted attention away from it. Leilani and I also talked about the fact that she is the prime suspect in Quentin's disappearance, but she says that she's not going anywhere. I'll have more on that story coming up on the News at 6. Live in Chatham County, Shay Schrader, WTOC News. Now, Shay, will have more from that interview tonight on The News at 6. Like we mentioned just moments ago, the search for little Quentin is still going on right now. Law enforcement officers are in the process of meticulously climbing, combing through the landfill off of Little Neck Road near L. Scottsdale Park. Last week, Chatham County Police and the FBI told WTOC this process would be grueling and long, but getting Quentin a proper resting place is what's on their minds right now. WTOC asked if there is any point that they could quit searching. Chief Hadley said they wouldn't quit searching until they had a reason to stop. No one has been arrested yet. Everything we know about this case so far is posted on WTOC.com. Well, Biddy show, video show. Okay. <clears throat> so that was the second part. Okay. So the first part started with the one this one I'm going to show you. The second portion that they put out was what we just watched. So we're kind of watching it backwards. But I mean, 
Who really knows? They I'd see you look. Wednesday will mark three weeks since 20-month-old Quentin Simon went missing. Chatham County Police and the FBI believe that he is dead and currently searching a local landfill looking for his remains. Police say Quentin's mother, Leilani Simon, is the only suspect in his disappearance and death at this point. Today, WTOC Shea Schrader. In an exclusive interview, Shea, what did she have to say? Today, I did speak with Leilani Simon with her mother, Billy Howell, by her side. I talked with Leilani about what's happened since her son's disappearance, what she remembers from the day he was reported missing, and what things have been like since. She told me she's had a lot of sleepless nights and hopelessness. Billy and Leilani also told me that they learned what's happening with Quentin's case mostly by watching the news, and not knowing where he is has been unbearable. We're in limbo. We're in limbo just like everybody else is. We're sitting here every day waiting for answers. Being in this house is hard. My mother and I can't even stay inside throughout the day. We always are outside because there's just so many memories that we don't know if we're going to have again. The FBI and the Chatham County Police Department have been searching a local landfill for Quinton since October 21st and have not announced finding anything. Meanwhile, over the weekend, four people were arrested outside of the Simon home, three for blocking the driveway, and one for banging on doors and windows. Leilani tells me that incidents like these have made her and her family fear for their safety in the middle of an already terrible situation. I'm working on stories with more from our conversation coming up on the News at 5 and 6. All right. Thank you, Shay. WTOC, of course, has been following this story since the very beginning. To take a look at everything we have learned so far in the timeline, go to our website, WTOC.com. Just look for the Quentin Simon case page. Okay, so I will take you over to the babysitters. Um, the babysitters live. I mean, uh, TikTok video. She has not gone live. So. Good morning, guys. Um, sorry, the lightning here is so bad. Um, <clears throat> I didn't go live this morning because um, I'm trying to get some things done. My family is coming from Florida this week, and there's been so much going on. And, you know, when anything's wrong, you always are so happy to see your family and see your mom. My mom is my best friend, my everything. I love her so much. Um, and she hasn't been since the pandemic. So she is coming. I'm super excited. Um, but we're still praying for Quentin. Um, it hasn't got easier. We love him. Um, we're praying that everybody knows something soon. Um like I said, I am doing things because I do have a life. I do have kids. Um, so I still have to go on, but it doesn't mean that we don't love Quentin. It doesn't mean that we don't miss him or worry about him. It means that we're praying and we know that the cops are going to do their job and they're going to find him. Um, but <clears throat> I am getting, you know, everything ready for my family to come. Um, and not only me, my family um, is praying for Quentin's safe return. They're praying that, you know, he's okay. Um, my church is praying that Quentin is going to be okay and that he is found. Um, I don't know why the light looks so orange, but we're still praying. Um, thank you all for the positive comments. I pray that y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. Um I'm just waiting to hear something this week about Quentin, um, like y'all all are. You know, I know y'all are. I know that y'all are just wonderful people, so many people that are loving on Quentin. Um, but, yes, I just wanted to let you know that um, we still are thinking about Quentin. We're still praying for Quentin. And, um, yes, I'm just getting things ready for my mom to come. So I hope y'all have a blessed day. Message me, um, and I will go live later. Thank you. Okay. So 
like I said, she hasn't gone live yet. Um, she still isn't. But I'm also going to read to you um, because we have actually five minutes until um, they should come on with the next portion, I believe, of the um, the interview. So, um, but I do want to read this to you. Exclusive. <clears throat> Quote, she told police, I took him overnight. Quentin Simon's father reveals the Georgia toddler's prime suspect mother tried to pin the 18-month-old's disappearance on him, but says that he hasn't seen his son in months. And then... Um, the rest of this we'll read here. So it says, the mother named as a suspect in the murder of the 18-month-old son, Quentin Simon, tried to pin his disappearance on his biological father. The DailyMail.com has learned. Leilani Simon told police that her ex-lover snatched a toddler from her Savannah home in the darkness of night, prompting police to track down and confront Quentin's long-absent father shortly after she reported him missing on October 5th. DailyMail.com located the tragic boy's biological father at his home. Sorry. Um, I figured I'd stop that video. Um, <clears throat> I lost my location. Uh, located the tragic boy's biological father at his home 85 miles from Savannah. And in an exclusive interview, Henry Moss who is known as Bubba, revealed how his ex tried to blame him for the boy's vanishing. Leilani's tried to blame it on me, the shaggy-haired 24-year-old told Daily Mail in a soft southern drawl. He said he was mowing his boss's lawn when police pulled up. They asked, did I have him? And when was the last time that I was in Savannah? He recalled. They told me Leilani said I came and got him overnight. Bubba, who lives in Girid, 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 I don't know, Georgia, a rural town of 250 people, told police that he hadn't been anywhere near Savannah for a month when he installed an air conditioner in nearby uh, Tybee, Tibby, whatever, island, where Leilani and her mother, Billy Joe Howell, were seen downing to kill shots in a bar a week after Quentin's disappearance. Hmm. Um, and then it just shows like Leilani's uh, pictured in a mug shot and um, told police that her ex Henry called Bubba snatched his son. Right. Oh, this picture is so cute. Bubba vowed that he told police the truth, that he was home when Quentin disappeared, and that he left for work at 7.40 that morning. He said he presented alibis and that there was also CCTV footage from the next door gas station that proved he didn't leave his home overnight. At that time, it was just a missing person case. I told police, she's gonna hurt that baby, he recalled. I said, I didn't know what was going on. Hell, I haven't heard from her in six to seven months. During the interview, Bubba proceeded to share his turbulent backstory with the woman suspected of killing her son. Bubba, who has two daughters with another woman, said that he met Leilani at a swimming hole in 2019. Leilani had her own child, Zane. They started dating and she became pregnant with Quentin in 2020. She initially kept it a secret. Quote, she didn't tell me until months later that she was pregnant, Bubba recalled. I didn't have no say in it, really. He said Leilani went to Alabama to give birth to Quentin in January of 2021. So Bubba's name wasn't on the original birth certificate. She then returned home. Quote, he was happy, always smiling, Bubba said of Quentin. He really didn't scream a lot. He was a good baby. He said the tipping point in their relationship came in February 2021 after he was served with an arrest warrant for breaking into a trailer home back in June 2020. Milani had already been arrested. It's six o'clock. Hold on one moment. Let me go check this. Uh... I just want to make sure I don't need to bring us over to this other channel. Um, let's see. They're not talking about it right now, but um, they might actually right after they finish what they're talking about right now. Um.
Okay. Let's see. Here it is. Like, nope. They're talking about. Oh, I think they finally got the six o'clock news uh, after a commercial. So I'm going to read this the rest to you. If I hear it, I, I'll flip it over to it. Okay. Um, so um, Leilani had already been arrested for the crime, committed in the mobile home park in nearby Waynesboro, where she was living with her mother. It's on, actually. Our Shea Schrader is sitting down one on one with the mother of Quentin Simon, what she had to say about her son's disappearance. Plus, first day in the books, voters in South Carolina headed to the polls today for the first day of early voting. Our Tyler Mannion will join us live with a look at the turnout in Beaufort County. And cases rising. Local health officials seeing an increase in flu and RSV RSV cases in Chatham County area. We're speaking with Memorial Health about what parents and children need to know to keep themselves healthy. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us for the News at Six. I'm Dawn Baker. In a WTOC exclusive, Leilani Simon, the mother of missing Chatham County toddler Quentin Simon, is speaking out tonight for the very first time since he was reported missing nearly three weeks ago. Chatham County police and the FBI believe Quentin is dead and are actively searching a local landfill for his remains. Police say Leilani is the only suspect in his disappearance as well as his death. And tonight we have team coverage with our Shea Schrader and investigative reporter Max Deeknike. We begin with Shea, who joins us live outside of the Simon home. Shay, what did she talk to you about? Leilani and I spoke about a number of things, including what she remembers from the morning she first reported Quentin missing to what life has been like as the days have gone on still with no sign of Quentin. I talked to Leilani as well as her mother, Billy Howell, who were both just distraught over Quentin's disappearance. They say they've been harassed in the days and weeks since Quentin disappeared, but Leilani wants everybody to know that she's not running away. I'm here, I've been here every day since this. I am not running and I'm not hiding. And if something does come up that I am at fault, I will take myself to that police station. Chatham County police have repeatedly said that though they've named Leilani the prime suspect and her son's disappearance and death, they don't believe she's a flight risk. Leilani says that she and her mother, Billy Howell, spend their days in the backyard of their home because it's too difficult to be inside with reminders of Quentin and the fact that he's gone. Every day that goes by is less tears and more anger, not knowing what's happening, if that's even understandable. You wake up every day angry, hoping that you're going to get a phone call, and that phone call just doesn't come. CCPD and the FBI haven't released many details in the case and haven't said why they believe Quentin is in a landfill. Police say they're doing that to preserve any potential court cases down the line. Leilani and Billy tell me that they get their new information about the case from watching the news and that they feel all they can do now is hope. We want something great to come out of this, but mostly we want him not to be found in that landfill. We want him found happy and alive. <laughs> we want him back in our arms holding us. This is what we want. <laughs> We're just hoping that he's in somebody's house and they're feeding him. And they, we're hoping that, you know, maybe they wanted a baby or couldn't have a baby. Maybe they thought they were his savior. But it's not. That's their hope, best hopes at this point. Chatham County police say they have no reason to believe that Quentin was abducted or kidnapped, and they have evidence that suggests he was placed in a dumpster and that his remains are in the landfill that they're currently searching. Leilani Simon hasn't been charged with anything at this time, but police say she is the only suspect in her son's disappearance. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. Live in Chatham County, Shay Schrader, WTOC News. We just saw Quentin's mother and grandmother standing side by side during Shay's interview, but court records obtained by WTOC investigates paint a picture of their tense relationship. Investigative reporter Max Deeknight joins us now. Max, you have another glimpse into the Simon household in the weeks leading up to Quentin's disappearance, right? 
Yeah, Don, that's right. After Quentin was reported missing nearly three weeks ago, we requested as much information as we could get our hands on. So police and court records paint a picture of a tense, divided home in the weeks leading up to the baby's disappearance. On September 7th, nearly a month before Quentin went missing, Leilani Simon called police over a reported fight with her mom over laundry. Leilani did not press charges. She told police she was on probation at the time. Her mom, Billy Howell, who we just heard from as well, told police Leilani had a history of stealing from her and buying drugs and that she was thinking about evicting her. The next day, September 8th, Howell filed paperwork to evict Leilani and her boyfriend. She says her daughter got that paperwork two weeks later around September 26th. Two days after that, on September 28th, exactly a week before Quentin went missing, Chatham County Judge Lisa Colbert ordered Leilani to start paying child support for Quentin and his older sibling. Quentin's grandmother had sole custody of both children at the time. A week later, Leilani reported Quentin missing. Fast forward to last Monday, October 17th. Leilani was in Chatham County Juvenile Court. That's her leaving the courthouse for a preliminary hearing about the custody of Quentin's two siblings. The judge did not allow our cameras in the courtroom and sealed the hearing from the public. There's also a gag order in effect for everyone who attended that hearing. Now, again, a reminder for our viewers, while police say she is the lone suspect, Leilani Simon has not been charged with anything related to her son's death. Dawn? Well, to take a look at everything we know about this investigation and the cases surrounding Simon's family, Head on over to our website, WTOC.com. We've created a timeline as well as posted past stories. All you have to do is look for the Quentin Simon page. Well, the first day of early voting in South Carolina has... Okay, wow. Yeah, I think there should be a gag order for sure um, because it's about children and um, they, aren't, they, they aren't Quentin. So I agree with that completely. Um, I'm going to bring you guys back over and we'll finish reading that article from Quentin's father. Okay. Get this out of here. Um, I'll reread that part that I was kind of distracted because I was listening to the other stream. But Leilani had already been arrested for the crime committed in the mobile home park in nearby Waynesboro, where she was living with her mother, Billy Joe Howe. Leilani, however, blamed Bubba. A police incident report obtained by Daily Mail states that Leilani allegedly cut her way through a screen window, stole $50 from a coin jar. The 40-year-old victim who owned the trailer called the cops. Quote, when asked who he, the victim, thought was responsible, he pointed out a female, later identified as Leilani, I'm going to assume Marie, Mary, what was Simon, who lives next door and was currently standing outside. The investigator state in the report. I then spoke with Miss Simon, and while doing so, she admitted to entering the camper and taking all of the change from inside the coin jar. Miss Simon added that her child's father, Henry Bubba Moss, came over at approximately 8 a.m. today and convinced her to help him enter the camper. Miss Simon stated that since he couldn't fit through the window, she did instead, the report adds. Leilani was charged with first-degree burglary, a felony. It was pleaded down to criminal trespass, court records show, and she was given 12 months probation. She is still on that probation and another probation, probationary period for a 2021 theft in North Carolina. And... A warrant was issued for Bubba's arrest in the Waynesboro case, but he said he didn't know it at the time. Later that summer, a woman in another trailer there had her black and white Harley Davidson wallet stolen. The owner confronted Leilani, who blamed Bubba again. Ms. Simon stated Mr. Henry Moss had stolen it, the incident report states. But the report points out that the victim didn't witness the theft and no arrest was made. The property owner told DailyMail.com that he evicted Leilani and Billy Joe, who was working as a union worker at a nearby nuclear plant that summer. Leilani then moved in with Bubba in the nearby city of Hiltonia. But the relationship proved a disaster. Bubba described her as a cheater and liar, a homemaker who spent her days snorting cocaine and smoking marijuana. She did cocaine every day, all day, as much as she could, he said. Leilani also exhibited a violent temper 
and would lash out at him when she was craving more drugs, according to Bubba. Quote, when she didn't get no money from me to get fucking drugs, she'd go crazy, he said. She'd hit me a few times in the face. He said Leilani would also sleep with other men to get cash for drugs. Everything fell apart after he received the arrest warrant in mid-February 2021. He had his best friend Morgan record her admitting she framed him. Quote, I'm saying, why did you do that, though? Bubba could be heard telling Leilani on the recording obtained by DailyMail.com. That is fucked up. I can't believe it still, huh? Or I can't believe it still, huh? What? You're going to tell them the fucking truth now or what? Yes, Bubba, I'm going to tell them the truth, she replies. I've already called up there. They have so many different fucking record recorded messages when you call them. I'm going to tell the truth that you didn't do anything. I know, but damn, you shouldn't be lying and everything else. That we be together and everything else. He snaps back. Damn, man, you fucked you you fucking my life up with this. He continues. I got locked up. I mean, it's fucking stupid. Why I'm so mad? There should have never been no motherfucking charges. He argues. The five minute recording also shed light on. Other aspects of the relationship. <clears throat> At the time, Quentin was about seven weeks old, and Bubba was still questioning whether he was the actual father. I'll keep the baby and take care of him and all. So if he's mine, we're going to get a DNA test, he said. If he's mine, I would want to put his mother name right on his birth certificate and change his last name. He can live with me. I'll do that. Put him uh, in fucking daycare. Whatever I've got to do, I'll take care of him. I promise you that. Wow. He then accuses her of sleeping with other men to suggest that maybe he's not the father. Quote, I ain't fucked nobody but Bubba Moss in 2021, she insisted, insist, though she'd become pregnant with Quentin the prior year. I ain't never fucked him either. That boy's a child. After the argument, Bubba and Leilani split up. She left town later that year. The only reason I'm not in Quentin's life is because she left, he told DailyMail.com. She was not welcome here anymore with all her lying and stealing. Bubba has experienced his own trouble with the law, admitting he'd previously been arrested for fighting, criminal trespass, and possession of marijuana. <clears throat> At the time of the disappearance, Leilani was living in Savannah with Quentin and Zane, her boyfriend, Danny Youngkin, Billy Joe, and her husband, Thomas Howell. Well, man, there was a little baby, right? Sky was there too. But uh, Billy Joe obtained legal custody of Quentin and his now three year old son, Zane. But she was reportedly out of town October 5th. Police say Quentin was last seen by his mother's boyfriend, Youngkin, around 6 a.m. It wasn't until after 9 a.m. that his mother reported him missing. Bubba said cops from the local sheriff office confronted him later that morning. The next day, he drove to Savannah and spoke with the FBI. Quote, they wanted to talk to me, he said. They were asking me a lot more questions about her. He said investigators also had him take a DNA test to prove his paternity, and it came back a match. The next night, he stopped by Billy Joe's house to speak with Leilani and her mother, who were gathered in the backyard to him it seemed more like a party than a time of grief every one of them was high as a kite and drunk as hell he told daily mail nilani was on something she wasn't crying when i walked up she was laughing and having a good time with everybody it looked like a party i didn't tell her what the fbi told me he said all i said was how did quentin go missing how did a 20 month old go go walk out she didn't have anything to say to me he added all she said was she was sorry and that she didn't know what happened to him. That's all she does is lies. He said that a few minutes after he spoke with her, she cried. Authorities would later drain the backyard pool, which was full when Bubba stopped by. Wow. A week after the disappearance, police announced that they believed Quentin is dead and named his mother as the prime suspect. The FBI has been searching a nearby landfill where they believe Quentin's body was dumped. As the search got underway early last week, Leilani and her mother left town for an overnight stay at Tybee, whatever, Island, where they were seen laughing and smiling while 
downing Patron shots with several friends at Stingray's, a popular bar across the street from their motel. Bubba said he's shocked Leilani hasn't yet been arrested. Quote, I can't believe she ain't locked up now, Bubba said. She's a terrible person and she's going to jail or hell. She's evil. She doesn't, she shouldn't be here out in society. If she didn't want him, she could have told me, he added. I would have come and got him. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. That's. <sighs> well, I will say, I wonder if they're going to release the audio is what I'm wondering. Um, I don't know if they will or not. I don't know. Uh, time will tell. We'll see if they end up putting out the audio. If they put it out, I will. Um, I'll share it with all of you. But let me wrap up the video because now it's kind of getting long. I should have gone live over this. Let me check um, the babysitter right quick. And she is not live. So we're not missing anything with that. But um, those are just some of the updates from, from today. But um, I hope that you guys have a good one. I will talk to you all very, very soon. Take care. Bye, guys.